everyone and welcome back to another chit chatty vlog this one is just going to be you and me in my car today i want to talk to you about quite a few things as i'm out running errands and i'm about to go for brunch with a friend actually i'm down in a place called high cliff which is a really lovely area right by the sea and if you are looking for a gorgeous wedding venue high cliff castle here is amazing but this is not too far from where i live and um where i grew up actually Actually. and so I'm meeting a friend here because she lives in Southampton so it's kind of a good middle point for us um, so I'm really looking forward to that so I'm gonna make this really brief because uh, I have to meet her in literally five minutes so I am so excited to talk to you about a lot of things today I have never felt so much love and support on my channel Ever. Like, I've always felt supported and loved, but I felt an overwhelming amount in the last sort of four, five, six weeks. Ever since I shared about reaching 100,000 subscribers, then obviously Benji's surgery and how amazing you all were about that. Then I talked a little bit about how I've been feeling in terms of my confidence, clothes and my body. And you were all so nice about that as well. And finally, our wedding news, our honeymoon and our special trip coming up in 2024. It feels so good to finally share that with you and talk about it. So I thought we'd cover all of those things in this vlog today. I want to talk to you about exercise updates, reading books, um, work stuff and just a general chit chat. You know how I feel about these videos in terms of them feeling like you're on FaceTime with a friend. And I love watching these kind of videos, putting them on when I I'm cooking or doing my makeup or cleaning or whatever so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy this one just catching up you and me so I thought I'd intro it and just say hello I hope you're all well please let me know where you're watching this or how you're watching it like are you cooking are you cleaning are you on a commute I'd love to hear from you and uh, just how you are because I feel like we haven't had a proper catch up over the last few weeks it's been so so busy but so exciting it's actually really cold today weirdly end of April today when you're watching hopefully is beginning of May bank holidays so hope you've all had a nice day but uh, it's end of April it's literally a couple days before I'm posting this and it's so grey and cold I'm actually in jeans which is kind of a unheard of for me I'm in black jeans a white jumper this is actually from a stitch fix box a while ago and my good faithful as de gilet and then I have this lovely uh, Fairfax and Favour handbag that was gifted to me um, a few weeks ago that I love it's my everyday handbag I've taken it literally everywhere with me even to London and all sorts so I'm going to uh, go inside now and yes, I'll let you know how my lunch is. Um, lunch, brunch, it's half ten so it's brunch. Right, good. I'm back. It's been two hours, just over. You know you've had a good catch up with a friend when it's been like literally hours. I've got a new phone. This is my new phone. I upgraded. I upgraded from a 13 Pro Max to a 14 Pro Max, which, hear me out, I know that's not really much of an upgrade, but I get an annual upgrade as part of my contract with EE. Been with them for years, and I was going to wait until the 15 in September, but in all honesty, the new phones when they come out um, in the first month or so are really expensive, really, really, really expensive. So I figured that it was probably a good time to upgrade now to the 14 because I got a really good deal, and... Basically, I just thought it'd be better to have sort of the best possible phone for work purposes and it'll be the one that I use on all our next trips, especially the big trip next year. So that's where I upgraded, but I also bought a new case. I did have a skinny dip Disney one, which I loved, and I would like to have a couple of ch cases that I can change out, but I got the purple phone, so I bought a purple case, and I actually got this from Otter Box. Never bought from them before, but they sell pop socket cases that are built in. I cannot have a phone without a pop socket now. I use it to, like, watch videos and stuff, and it's just too heavy without it, so I thought this was really neat, and um, I'll leave it linked if you're looking for a really nice case. Plus, it's been, like, heavily tested, and yeah it's meant to protect the phone obviously which is what it's meant to do but also just aesthetically it's quite nice but anyway um, I was getting my phone out because I wanted to get my notes out so let me put that here um 
Oh, my mum is texting me. I just had to phone my mum to talk about nail colours because we're going to quite a few events together, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but as Benji is currently out of action to be my professional plus one, I asked if my mum would like to join and uh, she said yes. So my mum and I are doing quite a few things together. So you may see her in an upcoming vlog later this week that you're watching. We're doing something really exciting together. Um, and on Sunday, which, you, which we would have already been to, uh, we're doing piano cruises, a day on board Avia to see the greatest day is the official take that musical that's launching on avia which i will see when i'm on board in june but we're going for a press day and um to say hello and stuff so that'd be nice because i'm a very proud ambassador and if you ever want to ask me anything about piano cruises please dm me i'm happy to help or i'll at least get you the answer if i don't know it i am gonna go run some errands i want to go to home bargains because i need to pick up some paper cups and some soil for the rainbows for the girls on Friday. Some of you know I volunteer for girl guiding and I am often tasked with buying and picking up supplies here and there. Might pop and do a little food shop, just a little top up thing before HelloFresh comes on Friday. And then I would like to get my car cleaned, although it's meant to rain, so I kind of feel a little bit reluctant to do that when um, when it's gonna rain. But anyway, that's my thing for today, but I thought I'd talk about the things that were on my list in front of me. So, Benji's health, let's start with that one because that was a big one. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the support and all the well wishes that you gave Benj. As you know, we did say in advance that if we went quiet, then you know why. And I think a lot of you did know it was happening and it made a lot of sense as um, we, that's why we did another Disney trip quite quickly and um, to Disneyland Paris. We uh, squeezed in the bath trip as well. We wanted to get quite a few little things in before we knew he wouldn't be able to do anything for a little while. So it kind of makes sense now if you look back, but also you were all really lovely. He is handling everything so well and I just cannot even imagine the pain. Like I can hear when he's in a lot of pain and he takes his painkillers and I just can't imagine what that must feel like. Like all his ribs, <laughs> like his rib cage, it's all the broken bones in there. I'm just gonna put my seatbelt on, even though, am I gonna start driving? I might drive and talk to you. I'm so, so, so proud of him. He's handling everything like a trooper and he's up and walking around. He walks the dog with me, but he doesn't walk Bonnie. He doesn't hold Bonnie's lead. He just does dog walks with me. And we've walked to Tesco, but I carry the food shopping and we've walked to like the post office and he hasn't been in the car or gone anywhere yet. But we are going to try and go to the cinema at some point in the next uh, week or two just to get him out. Basically, Benj is doing really good and I obviously don't want to film him too heavily and I've just been letting him decide how much he wants to share. Uh, but he is doing well. Like, I'm really pleased with his progress and I think he is too. Obviously, you have to just rest. You have to just uh, see it out. It's three months that he um, is going to be fully recovering. I am still really enjoying reading. I will admit, I haven't been reading as much over the last couple of weeks because Benj and I have been watching maths. We've been watching Married at First Sight Australia and there's like 29 or 30 episodes or something. And so we have been binge watching that in the evenings, which means I've been reading less. But I did finish the fine print by Lauren Asher, which I loved. If you are a fan of the Disney parks, if you love Disney, Walt Disney World or Disneyland, like any of the Disney parks, and you like a spicy romance novel, sunshine meets grumpy trope, uh, enemies to lovers, kind of cheese and predictable, but also just the most perfect little book for me, I think. Like, I just loved it. Uh, so I absolutely soaked that up and I think it might be my favorite book of the year so far, which is quite a big claim. <laughs> so I really loved that. It's a three series book. So I'm on number two, which is Terms and Conditions. And one of the main characters, he is one of three brothers and each book is uh, the story of each brother. The second book, is so good it's a fake dating trope and i'm obsessed i absolutely love their little world the dreamland billionaires series it's just amazing i will talk about it all day so please tag me and let me know if you're reading it if i had a book club we'd all be in the same book club reading it together think about it that way <laughs> so come join us all of us that are reading it and tag me in your stories if you share them um because i want to see i want to see you reading the book because then we can talk about it so yeah that's what i'm reading right now maybe i'll show you when i get home 
home but um emily henry has a new book called happy place and i loved her books last year oh my gosh book lovers and beach read were so good and does she have another one that i read i definitely i loved them love love loved i think i gave them five stars so i'm really happy about her new books i love her style of writing so that'd be really fun but otherwise not reading as quickly as i'd like but i'm hoping that with a couple of trips coming up soon where i'm on a long-haul flight and when we're on the cruise for two weeks there'll be a lot more downtime so i'm really excited about that so yes that's my reading now let's get grooving so i shared in my last home vlog that i started running i picked up doing the 5k runner app it's kind of like couch to 5k the free nhs one but it's a little bit more advanced you can do the free version to a certain extent but you do have to pay for it i think it was like 20 pounds for the year or something but i really am enjoying it i'm on week four i did optimize a run so basically if you do one and you find it hard oh, so i've got a bit of fluff on my nose you can redo that run if that makes sense so i did redo a run yesterday and i'm feeling so good about it i don't know how long it's going to last because running is not something i have historically <laughs> done for a period of time i can't say that i love running but at the moment i've been enjoying seeing how much i can improve with my running from one to the other is has just been really good and yeah just wanting to feel a bit better about myself it has been really good for my mental health like when i'm having a day where i just need to like get everything out of my brain i've been loving getting on the treadmill i'm not doing it outside just on a treadmill and that it's just been working for me i've just been really enjoying it um, which leads me nicely on to how i mentioned about feeling in my clothes i haven't been feeling very body confident and i've not really enjoyed my clothes and outfits and style and things like that and i mentioned it in my home vlog and i made those sort of fashiony videos recently i tried on all my summer clothes and the response to all of that has been just so nice it's absolutely mind-blowing to me how many people feel exactly the same i don't want anyone to feel like they don't like the way they dress or their shape of their body or like don't have any confidence like i wouldn't wish that on anyone but there is definitely something in comfort in knowing that you're not alone and being able to talk about it with people that understand so thank you if you reached out to me and just sending you all loads and loads of love if you are feeling that way it's so hard and i've been doing a lot of work to try and rebuild and i yeah i just want to feel better really it's just started raining so taking my sunglasses out my head and i've uh, just arrived at home bargains so i'm going to pop in there get the bits i need and then we'll move on to the supermarket let's talk about the wedding then because i'm aware that no one's going to be as excited about our wedding as we are but i know a lot of you are really looking forward to hearing a bit more and seeing the trip and we're going to be vlogging and all that so i really want to give you updates in the lead up to it and tell you sort of what we've been doing and how it's going because we actually filmed that video the one that we shared last week announcing everything if you missed it then you need to go back and watch it we filmed that in february so it was about two months ago obviously firstly thank you for the love thank you so much to all of you that were so understanding i'll be honest i was a bit nervous sharing it i don't know why there's such a big thing in the wedding industry specifically that you have to justify your choices because people i guess then reflect their own feelings or opinions or project them i guess onto me so where some families wouldn't understand they then assume that my family don't understand and or benji's yeah loads of my friends and family are excited i want to talk about it all the time like it's insane we're so so lucky for our circumstances that we can even go away for that long if i said we were going traveling or taking a sabbatical or whatever that would be seen and sort of quite common but because it feels like a big extended long holiday a lot of people said that they'd never be able to take that time off work and i totally understand that but i guess for me i'm i'm still working which is such a wild thing to be able to say and do but i will be filming and editing and documenting stuff as i go there's a lot of times that we will have downtime like there'll be days and days at sea and probably days where we don't have any internet either we'll be very detached from the world and i still haven't quite figured out how i'm going to upload and share things but um i'm very aware that it's a huge privilege to do a world cruise and i'm aware of how damn lucky we are and you know we're sacrificing a whole wedding and things that come with a wedding and spending that money and time on um this trip instead 
and I personally think that it's worth it for us and we're both really happy with our decision and since filming that video we have booked the flights so we're flying out to New Zealand a few days before as you know so we're gonna be in Auckland if any of you want to give your suggestions specifically for Auckland right now is what I need advice on um, any really good hotels in the CBD just CD central business district yeah a couple of nights ago I did our visas for Australia and New Zealand because they last a year I've had them both approved both of us for both countries which is great a lot of the other visas we do on the way I think or we do them like a few days before we get there and stuff like that but um, I've started the big ones Australia was free and New Zealand was about 50 quid I think a hundred dollars so we've done those and we've also started booking some shore experiences so we've got some in Australia and in Southeast Asia, we've booked a few. I think we've got six total at the moment, but they keep adding new ones. So we've been sort of seeing what they have, but to be honest, a lot of them get sold out really quick. So even on our med cruise, we've also been booking our short experiences for that, but we've been booking the ones for next year too. So it's been really fun to do that as a customer actually as well in the process and how easy it was being able to add it to my basket and pay for it. I just really think that piano cruise is amazing. I know I'm so biased, but I really loved how simple it was and how much information there was on each experience and how long it took or um, what the how long the drive was to the destination that kind of thing so anyway yeah we've put those and last week so I'm just looking at my notes I also got our rings I picked up Benji's wedding ring which we had made at Cara Jewelers in London they're the same jewelers we went and visited in Dubai and they've just recently opened a spot in the Burlington Arcade in London which is amazing so we're able to communicate with the team in Dubai still and then they can ship out what we want to london so that's so much better than obviously having to all go all the way to dubai so they um they designed benji's ring for him that we wanted which is amazing it's stu such a stunning ring so we'll show you obviously close to the time sorry you have to wait for that but i don't i kind of like want some things for ourselves and to share with our friends and family because they're not going to be involved in a wedding um it's nice to have some things that we're just keeping back for them i love my ring so much every time i look down at it i am just in awe at how pretty it is and shiny it is and it means so much to me and it just is a constant reminder of the commitment that we are making together and I just I'm so lucky I look at it and I just think oh my gosh it represents so much about our relationship and Benj and yeah it's so beautiful like it's so pretty so having the right wedding band next to it um has been fun picking and choosing what that looks like so I have ordered that and I'm hoping to go visit the store again next week when I'm up in London uh to go and pick it up if it's ready if not I'm up in London again the week after so i'm up a few times over the next month um so yeah that's exciting so that's the wedding updates for you that is everything wedding wise right now i can't wait to keep sharing things with you i feel like i'm updating my friends thank you for giving me the space to talk about it and be excited because i assume and hope this is only going to happen once in my life and i'm aware that it's going to be all over soon i'm going to be just reminiscing and so this planning stage is just like making my heart happy you know that i'm a planner you know how i feel about organizing for a trip like travel and planning and cruising like my love for so many things and so many of you did pick up on it but we're staying the night in hong kong and so you bet we're going to hong kong disneyland i'm so excited about that i've been looking at booking a specific hotel and tickets um and it looks like it's live now so i can do that so i'm gonna do that very soon that's another thing i have to budget for there's a lot of things logistically we've had to think about but i'm getting there i've got a massive list still but i'm not mad at having a massive list because it kind of is, is fun it's like all part of the process you know oh my goodness the weather is so bad now uh i didn't have an awful lot else to talk to you about really i wrote down work stuff some of you may know i'm going to antigua in the middle of may so that's my next trip which i'm really excited about it's a content creator trip with 30 of us so benji's not coming obviously he won't be able to come anyway but uh i'm really looking forward to it. a couple of my friends are going a few people that i know a few people i won't know i haven't got all the details for that trip yet so i haven't quite mentally processed it i need to start thinking about packing and getting the suitcase out and stuff but really looking forward to that i'm going to be vlogging and then the next trip after that will be our avia 
Mediterranean cruise in June. I, like I said, I've got a few events coming up which I'm gonna be filming. If I don't vlog them, then I'll share them on Instagram stories. In terms of brands, I'm not working with um, a lot of brands right now. Obviously, Piano Cruises I'm working with in June and I just worked with HelloFresh. And in May, I'm working with Wild Deodorant again on a really, really exciting collaboration. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you and tell you about that. I've organized a day in London with my friend Gary, Gary C. Some of you all know we're gonna do a really fun Disney themed day which i cannot wait to film and share with you so that'll be coming up in may as well also if there's any other videos you want to see from me please just let me know any chit chats maybe i'll do an updated q a that you can ask me questions so follow me on instagram because that's where i'll ask for q a questions i think that was everything so i'm going to run into tesco now thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a nice comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see what else i get up to during the weeks or little sneaky peeks then come follow me on instagram and just a big thanks again for being so lovely so nice I honestly think I have the best community of people here on this channel, in this corner of the internet. So thank you, big love to you all, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.